dysfunctional vet. This is the fly trap revisited. This is the same trap I put up last year because the flies were so darn bad. I dumped the flies that were in there out. They were basically just the keratin shell of the, of the creatures. As you can see, they were up to here on this jar. I mean, there were a lot of them. Had to shake it to get it out. There was very little to no smell in this. Now, I've put a new cartridge inside of this and I've added water to it. The cartridge is made out of putrefied um, egg yolk, I believe, or maybe the whole egg, I'm not sure. But anyway, it, uh, it's going to smell like a corpse pretty quick and I'll be catching flies. But there's a rule of thumb, and the rule of thumb is do not put meat into your compost pile. But these critters were so composted inside this jar that I went ahead and just dumped them in because it wasn't going to hurt anything. And the, the brand is Starbar, and it's called a Captivator Flytrap. These are, in my opinion, better than the disposable fly traps. They last about a year. If they fill up, you can dump them out. You can put new bait inside of them and set them back up. Um, I want to say the price was $8 when I bought these last ones. I don't remember what it was in the past. But the fact that I'm getting more than one year out of them and the disposable, I only get one use out of them. This is a much better bargain, a better return on your investment. With that said, dysfunctional vet. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to tell you. You set up a fly trap, you'll never get hungry. You'll always have something to eat. And if you're really hungry, I bet you can eat it. Dysfunctional vet out.